it's still dreary out there. It's also kind of warm and sticky this late in October. I have no idea why. Anyway, <clears throat> welcome to Straight Tarot Tuesday here on my channel. You know, it, it occurs to me... <clears throat> Sorry, I've never given this uh, channel a proper title, and I just don't think I need to. But anyway, you know what day it is. It is Straight Tarot Tuesday, and we're just breaking out the old, trusty, reliable Rider weight tarot deck to just get a reading in and find out exactly what it is we need to know in order to make it through the day. By the way, I did finally find out my schedule, and... <clears throat> I will be off on Friday, so if you would like to see a live stream on the YouTube channel, let me know. I will get that thing arranged, and I will go ahead and get it announced so that we can hang out on Friday. Uh, Saturday and Sunday I will not be here. Uh, I, I'm planning on a video possibly Sunday evening where I'll be exploring some low-cost options for those who want to play D&D &D or some other fantasy game. And we'll talk a little bit about that, unless there's another topic you would like to discuss. As always, comments are open down below. Feel free to just drop in and say whatever you'd like. Alrighty, so let's see what we got today. Honestly, yesterday, yesterday was kind of an interesting day, wasn't it? Talking about getting past your fear. Don't let your fear hold you back. Your fear can kill your momentum. Let's see what today's all about. Let's start with you. Let's start with me. Let's start with us, right? So we're talking about a hermit in reverse. Now is not the time for introspection. Now is the time to come out of the shell. Now is the time to, well, not be a hermit. And right now, uh, this is, it's, it's looking like it's time to maybe kind of come out of the cave for a little while. Don't get me wrong, there, there are times where I personally love just kind of being alone to myself. No one around, no one to mess with, no one to have to deal with. And that's so I can deal with a lot of the, the mental backlog there, right? And once you've dealt with it, you can sit there and kind of enjoy the silence for a while. When does it become too much? When are you enjoying it just a little too much? That's when you know, once those questions start coming in, man, or the thoughts of, man, I really love this. I wish I could just kind of stay cocooned this way for a long time, but unfortunately that's not going to be possible. And here comes Mr. Bub up onto the couch. All right. So let's take a look at the mind and see what's going on. And right now I've got Seven of Pentacles, Justice in Reverse, and a Five of Cups. Ooh, not a good mental state to be in. <clears throat> this one, this is a great place to start, and it's really where you should be. Because this is where you start looking at all your hard work and effort. And what you got to know is it is coming to fruition. But you're putting in all that work, you're looking at the at the final result and you're kind of going, uh, I don't know, is, is, was it really worth all this work? You know, well, what's going on here? It seems like you're not really satisfied with the outcome of it, but you have to know it's coming along and it's going to cause these thoughts of, well, it's not fair. <laughs> and it really isn't. You, you've probably, t in, in all likelihood, you've taken on an, an inordinate amount of the work. And an inordinate amount of that load was was thrust upon you. And of course, like I said, you do have to rely on yourself. There are just some things you're going to have to do yourself. Is that always fair? No. But it's not always the worst thing in the world either. Sometimes the best person to trust with something is yourself. Now, this card. Five of Cups. What did you lose that... What are you suffering all this regret for? 
because this is regret without having learned anything from it. That's loss. What did you lose that was so bad <clears throat> that you're focused entirely on the loss instead of what you could gain from it, what you could learn from it? I can tell you right now there's, there's quite a bit that I've personally lost. And unfortunately there's <clears throat> what I what I have learned from it is I've learned in some ways who to trust, who to steer clear of, who put on that who put on the face of that false friend, that false ally, that false you know that false backer. Because right now it's affecting your mental state. And we always know the cups are about emotion, but you're starting from a place of very tangible reality. Just know sometimes life isn't life isn't fair. You're gonna have to deal with that. Physically, the world, strength in reverse, and a three of cups in reverse. Wow. Starting here with the world. The world, Chico, and everything in it. I'm starting to notice a little bit of a trend here, and that is your your works are coming to fruition. This is kind of you on top of the world. This sort of seems like a manic state. One minute you're on top of the world, the next minute you just can't seem to get out of your own funk. You can't seem to get out of your own way. Especially with strength in reverse. This is where your fear is crippling your momentum. Because you don't see a you don't see a heck of a lot of uh, reason to celebrate. I do though. Because when you start from these two, these two positions right here, the, the seven of the seven of coins <clears throat> or pentacles and the world, there's a lot to celebrate. The problem is you're not seeing it. You're not looking at the right things here. And then spiritually, we've got a wheel of fortune in reverse, we've got a queen of cups in uh, upright, and we've got the hierophant in reverse. <clears throat> You know, this doesn't indicate a reversal of fortune. Normally this is like bad luck turning to you, now it's in reverse, uh oh. That is good luck turning bad, and this is going to be on you. But the Queen of Cups gives you a little bit of a warning. This is time to really kind of take care of yourself emotionally. Whatever your emotional needs are, especially with, the, with uh, terms of what's in the spiritual, that is going to be something you absolutely, this is a piece of advice you absolutely need to have. And when this Queen of Cups comes into your life today, you're going to absolutely need to hang on their every word. Now, this does not mean they're the authority you can still kind of derive your own your own uh, your own solution from the problem, but the Queen of Cups' advice is really what's going to help you, because now is not the time to appeal to authority. Authority is going to give you a lot of hollow plat uh, hollow platitudes. <clears throat> Pardon me for just a second here while I have a little bit of my tea. There we go. Okay, that's good. That's better. <clears throat> but what's going on right now from what I can see in in the entire picture is that you seem to be a little bit in your own way right now it's it's a it's a lot of uh, I don't want to call it petulant but it is you know it's not fair that this didn't work out the way I thought you know why why me a lot of that I see a lot of self-pity in here and that's not the way to take care of things because right now I can tell you with these two cards right here you have everything at your disposal to flip a lot of these reversals around but right now you're gonna need the advice of that Queen of Cups you're gonna have to kinda of rein in your emotions a little bit and you're gonna have to remember that when that she sits in calm water 
she can easily reverse that five of cups and that uh, three of cups too you can get that emotional fulfillment out of it but it's gonna it's gonna be up to you today because the lack of your strength is causing you to stay in that shell and you need to come out of that shell big time and today you need to be motivated you need to be inspired so look at that what which inspires you most you know last night I was hanging out on the uh, natural ones live stream with uh, with John and Victor and they were talking about the games they were running and the games that they liked and why they were running them and what made them so great and well I kind of prefer skill based uh, progression to experience based progression so on and so forth but the one thing that they dis that they were talking about most is what they loved they love their own projects to one degree or another they love their games they love that they found deals on original books rather than reprints it was a very light-hearted stream and a very and very light subject oh sure they addressed some points of uh, contention here and there but it was always combated with what they love the most what they love the most will take them out will take you out of that shell what what you love the most will give you that strength you need to go on so focus on what you love the most focus on what you want and that's the question that you have to ask yourself what do you want get that single-minded focus on what you love and pursue it thank you so much for joining me it's always a pleasure to have you even when some of these readings are warning signs. Just remember, I love you all. I want you to take care of yourselves, mentally, physically, and emotionally, and each other. Always do what lights you up. Pursue that which you love the most. And as always, shine on. You know, while I'm cleaning up here, um, as I was cleaning up, uh, a little song popped into my head. <clears throat> In fact, two of them. And I'll recommend them. There's a song by Dorothy called Black Sheep. And then there's another song by a band called Airborne called Back in the Game. And I think... That makes a great Tuesday morning motivational duo for you to listen to. Just kind of put them into your playlist if you got Spotify or whatever and then put them on repeat. <clears throat> or just make a playlist of those two songs and put them on repeat. And just really get into them. Because I honestly and truly think they will motivate and inspire you. And when you walk into wherever you're walking into today, walk in with an air of confidence really kind of get those shoulders back, that back straight and that chin up. Really walk around like you own the joint. Wherever it is you go. I don't care if it's a McDonald's or a Walmart. Ooh, well, there went the cards. Somebody wanted to talk today. <laughs> well, you know what? Since, since they want to talk, let's see which uh, cards we ended up getting here. We've got about four of them, looks like got a high priestess I got a four of swords I got a two of cups and I got a moon so it looks like you really do need to be focused on your own thing a little bit you need to get that rest and relaxation you need to work with some other people that really have your best interests at heart and that's gonna really guide you through this scary time so there you go you got a little extra there not a bad place to be right I didn't think so 
I'm shuffling these for the YouTube short, the high notes video, and I hope to see you there. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.